evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, March the 29th. It's year two, it's week five in Lent, and week seven in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 134 and 135. Exodus chapter 7, verse 25, to chapter 8, verse 19. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, come, bless oh, the God the Most High, all you who serve God the Most High. Psalms 134 and 135. O come, bless God the Most High, all you who serve God the Most High, who stand in the house of God the Most High, in the courts of the house of our God. Lift your hands to the holy place and bless God the Most High through the night. And may God the Most High bless you from Zion, God who made both heaven and earth. Praise the name of Yahweh, Praise you servants of God Most High, who stand in the house of Yahweh, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise God, for God is good. Praise God's name, for God is gracious, for Jacob has been chosen, Israel for God's own possession. For I know you are great, that you are high above all gods, whatever you will you do, in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. You summon clouds from the ends of the earth, and make lightning produce the rain, and send forth the wind from the storehouse. The firstborn of Egyptians you smote, of mortals and beasts alike. Signs and wonders you worked. In the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants, you struck nations in their greatness, and slew kings in their splendor. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. You gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to Israel, your people. Your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For you do justice for your people. You take pity on your servants. The pagans' idols are but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. And their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. House of Israel, bless God the Most High. House of Aaron, bless God the Most High. House of Levi, bless God the Most High. You who fear God the Most High, bless God the Most High. From Zion may Yahweh be blessed, the God who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O come, bless God the Most High, all you who serve God the Most High. The lesson is from the book of Exodus, chapter 7, beginning at verse 25. Seven days passed after Yahweh had struck the Nile. And then Yahweh said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will plague your whole country with frogs. The river shall swarm with frogs, and they shall come up into your palace, into your bedchamber, and in your bed, and into the houses of your officials and your people, and into your ovens and your kneading bowls. The frogs shall come up on you and on your people and all your officials. And Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your staff over the rivers, the canals, and the pools, and make frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same thing by their secret arts, 
and brought frogs up on the land of Egypt. And then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to Yahweh to take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to Yahweh. Moses said to Pharaoh, Kindly tell me when I am to pray for you and for your officials and for your people, that the frogs may be removed from your land and your houses and be left only in the Nile. And he said, Tomorrow. And Moses said, As you say, so that you may know that there is no one like Yahweh our God. The frogs shall leave you and your houses and your officials and your people they shall be left only in the Nile. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried out to Yahweh concerning the frogs that he had brought upon Pharaoh. And Yahweh did as Moses requested. The frogs died in the houses, the courtyards, and the fields, and they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart, and would not listen to them, just as Yahweh had said. And then Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your staff, and strike the dust of the earth, so that it may become gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand with his staff, and struck the dust of the earth, and gnats came on humans and animals alike. All the dust of the earth turned into gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. The magicians tried to produce gnats by their secret arts, but they could not. There were gnats on both humans and animals. And the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, just as Yahweh had said. Here as ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, O God, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, the God of our fathers, creator of the changes of day and night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory, glory for endless ages. Amen. Bless Yahweh my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.